Hello, welcome. My name is Leslie and this is my channel, The Sewing Circle, where we can gather together every week and share projects, plans, fabric deals, steals, and thrift shop finds. Today, we're going to look at some things I've been working on and some awesome thrift shop finds. just pulled up to Snowline Hospice here and I'm gonna go in and check out their sewing supplies. some things I did end up finding um, at Snowline Hospice this week. Now I, um, I thought I might pick up a couple of things as I usually do and I went in and there was loads of things that I wanted. So um, one of the things that I'm really excited about finding and not necessary to find but an awesome find is I found several of these bags um, with fabric and some of them are pre-cutouts for Project dress -A girl which we know is going on right now for September. And I've been wanting to make a few. Um, and I just think it's fun that they're already put together in these little kits. Someone must have picked up some kits from somewhere and didn't get them completed. Some of them are stars, some of them are cut out. All of them seem to be inclusive. And some of the fabric matches aren't necessarily my choice, so I might move them around a little bit but this was really fun I found I think there's let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten project dress a girl kits so look at this one it has kitties on it if I was a little girl that would be really fun so I'm excited to get those I don't know how many of those I will get sewn up but I do want to get a couple of them at least sewn up for this fall the other thing that I found was patterns and Oh my goodness, I had so much fun because there were some older patterns. I don't know if you have experience with quick sew patterns, but um, I haven't seen them in the stores any longer. I don't know if they quit or maybe you just have to mail order them, but I love quick sew patterns. So I found a few of those, found some costumes and some, some vintage patterns, which I love to collect vintage patterns. If you've seen in my trailer, I have several. Someday I'll do a show and tell of my vintage patterns. But today, this is the first costume I found. Isn't that so cute? It's like Little Bo Peep, Mommy and Me. Now, I think that this pattern does not include both sizes. It does say size small to extra large Miss Mademoiselle. So I haven't gotten into it. I haven't looked closely to see if both patterns are here, but I was excited. These, this is an older pattern. Um, and super cute, super fun, will make a fun costume, so. The next I found is a vintage costume pattern, and, um, this one, Simplicity 6205, it's not in the best condition, as you can see, but it appears the pattern has never been cut, so that's exciting, and look how cute. We have four different options for this pattern and just adorable little dresses for little girls. So this will be fun to have in my possession. Can you imagine back in the day when a pattern was 50 cents? Oh my goodness. Full price. So this one has col uh, clon Colonial Lady, 
Frontier Girl, Southern Belle, and Puritan Girl. Now this one is an older pattern as well, and I just thought it was so cute, so fun. This is just a nighty pattern. I love a good nighty pattern. Nighties are just so fun to sew up. They usually go together quickly, and pajamas are just fun. Look at this one. I really like this tank. I think it's so adorable. The shorts, I'm not so sure. I think that they probably look really funny on me since my legs are short. But um, the top here is really cute. This is the um, McCall's pattern of uh, what number? 5924. McCall's 5924. The next one is the Simplicity Little Poncho. And it's a newer, it's a more recent pattern, I believe. But look at how cute that is and cozy and how fun that would be for one of my little granddaughters. So I'll be probably putting this one together this winter if I get to all my other sewing. Another costume, guys. When I was a girl, we had a sock hop and I made um, this skirt. I think I had this pattern. This skirt in white felt um, with a pink poodle on it. And it was so cute. A poodle skirt is just so classic. And then they have the shorter little diner's outfit as well, which is really adorable. So that's a fun find. All of these patterns were 50 cents each. This is the C and Sew. This is an older, like, 70s pattern. 3019. It has the pants and the top. And I thought that was a really classic uh, 70s look. We have this a uh, quick sew, which I love a quick sew. Quick sews grow uh, sew up like um, like bot clothes to me. And this is a nightgown, another nightgown, just a real little basic nightgown, but super cute. I'm I'm loving to have um, I'm happy to have that in my stash of patterns. And then here's the last one I picked up. This is just a little jumper pattern. Jumpers are coming back into style, and I remember in the 80s and 90s wearing jumpers as a mama. And um, look at this one. The little girl one is so cute. And a mama and me outfit would be so adorable, wouldn't it? So those are the patterns I picked up. Now, I want to pause for a minute and have a little celebration. If you'll celebrate with me. Do you know what? We need to cue some dance music because... I made 1K subscribers in less than a month of being on to celebrate, I'm going to be stuffing a mailer full of all kinds of sewing goodies and a pattern for some lucky subscriber. So if you want to enter in my 100K giveaway, like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment in the bottom. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm excited to send a package out. I love gifts and I love to give gifts. So this is a great opportunity for us to celebrate together and to celebrate one of you too. Next up, have you looked at the linen section in your thrift shops? Because fabric is costly, but the linen section has loads and loads of yardage that sometimes goes unnoticed. So I found two pieces that I'm going to make an outfit out of. I don't know exactly what I'm going to make right now because I have so many projects that are waiting for me to make for fall but I could not leave this here these were these are high quality fabrics and so so adorable this is a new shower curtain just a just a fabric shower curtain it's a threshold it is a thick denim fabric I may make a skirt out of this I may make some pants out of this if there's enough it would be fun to make pants and then to go with those is this gorgeous tablecloth with these roses and birds. And that make a beautiful top. I think I have that bird upside down. But wouldn't that make a beautiful top with this as bottoms? And I got all, both of these for under $10. Nice big pieces of very high quality fabrics. Wash and wear beautiful. So check out your linen section. Look for tablecloths, look for shower curtains. You can find blankets that you can make into jackets, um, repurpose quilts, all kinds of things in the sewing room. Now next up, this is fun and exciting and I have not opened these because I was waiting for you, but 
our thrift shop had these packs of scraps. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but I love little scrappy pieces of fabric. I love the creativity it sparks in me. I love to make children's dolls and clothing for their dolls, stuffed animals, um, quilts, different things with my little scrappies. Um, as you saw with my backpack, I think you can see it in the background, that was a scrap backpack. So I was excited to open these in front of you, but let's do it really quickly. Who knows what got stuffed in here? Oh my goodness. There are so many fun pieces. Look at this. This is a very fall fabric with leaves. Oh my goodness. Look at this. These little blocks. I don't even know. I'm just peeling off here. And just get a glimpse of, of all the fun things that are inside of this little thing of fabric. 99 cents for this. I will use this fabric for some little project that has cherries. This one sparked my interest because of the block. I will use that block. I can make my own block, but isn't this fun? Somebody's mom, grandma, sister put together this block, and it did not end up in the quilt. Isn't that cute? I love the, the little corner triangles. And then there's, there's fabric that goes with it, different colors. Look at that. There's, look at here. We have a little piece. Look at that. Isn't that fun? You know, you can incorporate so much stuff into your projects. There's another block. There's blocks hidden throughout all of this. This will be fun for me to really tear into and see what it's all about. I did notice, oh, look, here's a heart. Someone was making something with a heart. It never got turned. It's just two pieces sewn together. Um, somebody's scraps. That's what this is. A lot of scraps, a lot of fun colors, and um, $2 for a big wad of scraps like this. So that was worth it to me. That's fun. Um, I don't like to go buy a bunch of little pieces of different colored fabrics, and I do end up with a lot of leftover fabric, and I do have a lot of fabric, but instead of buying myself a Starbucks coffee, I'll buy myself a bag of scraps any day and make my own coffee at home. Now, moving forward, we did see that there were a lot of remnants at the thrift shop. These are all the pieces that I got. And you might wonder what in the world I'm going to do with each one. And some of them I do not know. One thing that I really want to try my hand out this fall and, some, and winter is uh, corset making. I have never made a corset. I think it would be fun to, to make one and own one. Um, so that's one thing I want to make. The other thing is um, I have a little pattern to make whales. Oh, let's see, where did I put my little whale pattern? It's a free pattern and I'll link it below. This is what it looks like. I just printed it off and it makes a fabric whale. And I have a couple of little grandsons that I would like to make whales for. So I picked up this green. This is 79 cents for a half a yard. And this blue is 99 cents. And it says that there is 30 inches. And I will make whales out of that, I think. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful for corset fabric? $2.99 for a yard and a half. Here's a half yard of embossed looking fabric. 99 cents for a half a yard. Again, a uh, kind of a animal print velvety emboss sheer. I'll probably use that for sleeves on something. Um, 89 cents for a half a yard. Here's a nice white liner. There's 33 inches for $1.25. I always pick up the whites because I use them to line the back of things or the inside of things, especially this real, sh real lightweight um, lining fabric is beautiful. Lays so nicely. Now this was exciting. What do you think? What do you think of a corset out of these two? It's a gr mint green satin, one yard, $1.99. And then there's this spark. I don't know if you can see. It's very sparkly uh, fabric for $1.75 at three-fourths of a yard. And I thought that would make a very interesting corset. So we'll see about that. I'm dropping fabric. Um, this one is a purple. 
one yard, also kind of a satiny, I thought, with this one. Here's another example of fabric I could use in a corset. Very satiny, beautiful fabric. And then um, this little one and a half or one half yard, 99 cent velvet embossed piece. Again, can you imagine if these sleeves were made out of that on a garment? Beautiful. So these will all be incorporated. And the last one is this sheer hearts, um, black hearts on, um, on a sheer. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very beautiful. Again, sleeves, the front of something. I will use this. So I did really well at the thrift shop this week. I would highly recommend popping in and checking out your local thrift shops to see what kind of fabrics, what kind of patterns, um, notions they have. Um, I did pick up some zippers that I've already put away, 99 cents for zippers at the thrift shop. Some of them were even cheaper, 59 cents for a couple of them, the little short ones. But to me, that's just a, a wonderful way to save money. The last thing I got, and it's kind of fun, is um, this Cruel Truo by, um, by Current. And it was $2.99. It has three of the hoops in there and the printed fabric with the thread. $2.99. This will be a fun little project for me to do when I'm traveling. Very small, easy, compact to bring along and to make these cute, cute little things to hang up. I love doing handwork and so these are really fun. Now moving on, for those of you that have stuck through this video, you are getting an extra privilege in my little 1k giveaway and that is if you let me know that you made it through this far by putting hashtag 1K in your comment. That'll give me a little knowledge that you made it this, this far without fast forwarding through the video and skipping to the end or skipping it all together. So hashtag 1K gives you a little extra chance to win. My final share for this video this Friday is the completion of my birthday dress that I worked so hard on. And I'm really excited to show you. I did get some pictures of me in it this morning. My dear husband took of me. Some of them are a little blurry, but you'll get the idea. Um, I did want to let you know that I did go ahead and make this back bodice a lot deeper this way. So my back wouldn't show so much. It just felt a little bit uh, revealing. It was supposed to be at least three inches shorter at the top with a big gap here. And I went ahead and added to the pattern uh, three inches and then I just gathered this edge to the bodice front. Let me see if I can show you. So that there's just these little gathers at the back um, where they come together. And um, I still need to put buttons on right here, but I did try it on and have pictures taken with pens in it. It's really cute. I'm really happy with it. I think it'll be beautiful in Mexico. A very fun sundress in the heat. So here's those pictures that my hubby Augie took of me this morning.